Thank you. Uh, my name is R. Joshua Collins, founder of Homeless Advocates for Christ. I just want to first uh, read some verses out of Matthew 23. And um, Jesus in Matthew 23 says, uh, Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, and hypocrites. And then he goes on to say that you've ne neglected the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith, and that these Pharisees have strained at a gnat and swallowed a camel. Now, uh, the weightier matters of the law that Jesus talks about here is uh, judgment, mercy, and faith. And, um, you know, we've all, of course, fallen short of God's perfection. We all need Christ's blood forgiveness uh, through his shed blood for salvation. It's our only hope. Um, and unfortunately, I think in, in the city of Anaheim, and maybe some of you know this already, I'm facing homelessness right now, but I think uh, right now a lot of the laws that are in place are keeping people on the street and putting people on the street as well if they already have somewhere to live. And, you know, these, these laws that are being passed, right, are a lot of times the cause of why people are still on the street or getting put back on the street. A lot of these codes and, and things like that. So if that doesn't change, it's not going to, of course, help the homeless issue. Um, of course, Jesus was homeless, as we know. He has a big heart for the poor over and over, it says in the Bible. Um, and kindness, right? If you want to be a city of kindness, uh, I don't know how we're going to be able to do that if we continue to put people out on the street because of certain laws and codes. Uh, I think we definitely need to make it easier also for the churches to, to help the homeless. A lot of the homeless uh, would be willing to stay at maybe at a church facility, kind of like at excuse me, Pastor Wiley Drake's church in Buena Park. Um, you know, if we can make maybe a few less regulations so that you know the churches could could allow people to stay um, on on church property and maybe use some of the different rooms if, if necessary. Um, it would help a lot to alleviate the homeless issue. In Maxwell Park, we have a lot more homeless there. And um, a lot of them, of course, can't afford rent. We know that the rent isn't going down anytime soon. It doesn't seem like the wages are really going up anytime soon. So the problem isn't going to get any better anytime soon. Um, we need more affordable housing. And, and um, we need to help churches to help others. And if we can't make that happen, it's just we're self-defeating. So. Um, I just want to encourage the council to, to work on that, you know, and, and um, to be the city of kindness that uh, you want to be, and, and uh, just try not to burden God's people that are trying to help others. Um, of course, I'm facing a situation where it's kind of maybe making it a little bit harder for me to help others, to reach out, and I'm kind of trying to work around it. Some of you guys already know what's going on, but um, I just really would uh, like to see some change. But anyways, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. Good evening, Mayor. Uh, Bob Allen. Uh, first, I'd like to echo your views on item 27. I thank you for everybody in this room. Yeah. Please uh, pray for the city here. I'm glad that the mayor kind of listened to my words, and let's pray these get changed, that uh, good things can happen soon. Uh, I'm not sure where, what's going to happen with my situation yet, but thanks so much for your prayers and support. Also, uh, do, do join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook and share the video. Pray for change. You know, we're making a difference, I believe, and I see a lot of other advocates here, so I'm going to get back to the meeting, but uh, just really appreciate you guys out there that are so supportive. And uh, anyways, may God bless you as you seek first his kingdom always. Bye-bye.